Welcome back. It is 6:43. The migrating monarch, known to stop in San Antonio every fall as they travel to Mexico, were officially put on the endangered species list last week. So, what can we do now to help save the monarch? Sarah Acosta spoke with a foundation that's been sending out free seeds for over 20 years for plants that monarchs feed on, and they say it's more crucial now than ever. The migratory monarch butterfly, a subspecies of the monarch, known for migrating from Canada to Mexico every fall, is now endangered. That's two steps away from extinction. The population has declined by 90% in the past two decades due to climate change and pesticides, according to federal scientists. So what can be done to help? Plant more milkweed. Milkweed is the monarch's prime food source. Extreme weather events and pesticide use has killed a massive amount of natural occurring milkweed in North America. It's why since 2000, the Live Monarch Foundation has made its mission to send out thousands of free seeds across the country. You're the one who's going to take the seed and plant it. I can't plant 10,000 gardens every month, but I can give people the seeds to make sure that they can plant 10,000 gardens and do that start. A post from the foundation goes viral every couple of years, saying if you send one self-addressed stamped envelope to Live Monarch, they will send you free seeds back in the mail. The foundation does do this, and since the news broke about the monarchs being endangered, they are getting thousands of requests daily. There's always somebody asking um, for free seeds every day in, in the mail, but just a little bit. And then Friday, uh, it looks like it's about 50 to 100 times that volume. Singer is asking for people to go to their website instead of sending them envelopes, make a small donation for the seeds, and send in an online order to help their small staff of less than five people keep up with the requests. Let's save on postage and let's save on trees. Don't cut down a whole forest to send us 10,000 envelopes when you could send a few. So we try to um, get that message out too. Based on your area, they send you native milkweed seeds. In South Texas, you can start planting those seeds now so they can get their roots in place by the fall and they will go dormant in the winter. But that way, come spring and the following fall, they will be ready for those migrating monarchs. Singer says rather than just throwing them in a field, make sure to plant the seeds under half an inch to an inch of soil, water often, cover in mulch, and also avoid using pesticides in DEET in your garden because this can kill monarchs. Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News.